the man went to a hotel and walked up to the front desk to check in. The woman at the desk gave him his key and told him that on the way to his room, there was a door with no number that was locked and no one was allowed in there. Especially no one should look inside the room under any circumstances. So, he followed the instructions of the woman at the front desk, going straight to his room and going to bed. The next night, his curiosity would not leave him alone about the room with no number on the door. He walked down the hall to the door and tried the handle. Sure enough, it was locked. He bent down and looked through the wide keyhole. Cold air passed through it, chilling his eye. What he saw was a hotel bedroom, like his, and in the corner was a woman whose skin was completely white. She was leaning her head against the wall, facing away from the door. He stared in confusion for a while. He almost knocked on the door, out of curiosity, but decided not to. This disinclination saved his life. He crept away from the door and walked back to his room. The next day, he returned to the door and looked through the wide keyhole. This time, all he saw was redness. He couldn't make anything out besides a distinct red color, unmoving. Perhaps the inhabitants of the room knew he was spying the night before and had blocked the keyhole with something red. At this point, he decided to consult the woman at the front desk for more information. She sighed and said, Did you look through the keyhole? The man told her that he had, and she said, Well, I might as well tell you the story. A long time ago, a man murdered his wife in that room, and her ghost haunts it. But these people were not ordinary. They were white all over, except for their eyes, which were red. As the man stood there, his heart pounding in his chest, he couldn't shake the feeling of dread that washed over him. The hairs on the back of his neck prickled as he listened to the woman's ominous words. He felt a chill run down his spine as he realized the gravity of what he had witnessed through the keyhole. The image of the white-skinned woman, her head leaning against the wall, haunted his thoughts. He couldn't shake the feeling that there was something malevolent lurking behind that locked door, something far more sinister than a mere ghost. That night, sleep eluded him as his mind replayed the haunting scene over and over again. The darkness seemed to press in around him, suffocating him with its oppressive weight. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind outside, sent shivers down his spine. Determined to uncover the truth, the man found himself drawn back to the forbidden door once more. With trembling hands, he reached out and grasped the handle, his heart hammering in his chest. The door creaked open slowly revealing the darkness beyond. Taking a deep breath, he peered through the keyhole once more, his eyes widening in horror at what he saw. The room was bathed in an eerie red light casting long, twisted shadows across the walls. In the center of the room stood a figure, its features obscured by the darkness. Fear clenched at his heart as he realized that he was not alone. Something inhuman lurked within that room. Something that defied all reason and logic. With a sense of growing unease, 
he backed away from the door, his mind reeling with terror. Returning to the front desk, he found the woman waiting for him, her expression grave. Without a word, she handed him a key, a small metal object that felt cold and heavy in his hand. This key will unlock the truth, she said, cryptically, but be warned. Some doors are better left unopened. With a sense of foreboding, the man pocketed the key and fled from the hotel, desperate to escape the horrors that lurked within its walls. But try as he might, he could never forget the chilling sight he had witnessed through that keyhole, a reminder that some mysteries are better left unsolved. The man stood frozen in shock as the woman's words echoed in his mind. Goosebumps prickled his skin, and a cold shiver ran down his spine. He couldn't shake off the feeling of dread that enveloped him like a suffocating mist. Unable to resist the lure of the mystery, he found himself drawn back to the forbidden door, his heart pounding in his chest like a drumbeat of warning. With trembling hands, he reached out to the doorknob, hesitating for a moment before twisting it slowly. The door creaked open, revealing a darkness so thick it seemed to swallow the feeble light from the hallway. Stepping inside, he was greeted by an icy chill that seemed to seep into his bones. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and a sense of malevolence hung in the air like a tangible presence. As his eyes adjusted to the darkness, he saw her, the woman with skin as white as snow. Her back turned to him as she stood motionless in the corner. He felt a surge of terror grip his heart, threatening to consume him whole. Summoning every ounce of courage he possessed, he forced himself to take a step closer, his breath catching in his throat as he reached out to touch her shoulder. But before his fingers could make contact, she turned around, her eyes glowing like fiery embers in the darkness. A blood-curdling scream ripped through the silence, echoing off the walls of the room as the man stumbled backward in horror. He turned and fled, his footsteps echoing loudly in the empty hallway as he raced back to the safety of his own room. But even as he locked the door behind him, he knew that he would never be able to erase the image of those crimson eyes from his mind. The memory would haunt him for the rest of his days, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked behind closed doors. Nightmares plagued the man's sleep, each one more vivid and terrifying than the last. In his dreams, he found himself trapped in that accursed room, the walls closing in around him as the ghostly woman with her blood Red eyes advanced towards him, her ethereal voice whispering promises of doom. He woke in a cold sweat, his heart pounding in his chest as he gasped for breath, desperate to escape the suffocating grip of fear that threatened to consume him. But no matter how hard he tried, he could not shake off the feeling of dread that clung to him like a shadow. Days turned into weeks, and still, the memory of that night haunted him relentlessly. He became obsessed, unable to think of anything else but the mysterious room and the sinister presence that lurked within its walls. Driven by an insatiable curiosity mixed with a morbid fascination, he returned to the hotel time and time again, each visit bringing him closer to the edge of madness. He searched for answers, questioning the staff and scouring old records in a desperate attempt to uncover the truth behind the legend of the ghostly woman. But the more he learned, the more he realized that some secrets were better left buried. 
he discovered tales of madness and despair, of guests driven to madness by the whispers of the dead and the haunting visions that plagued their dreams. In the end, he found himself standing once again outside the forbidden door, his hand trembling as he reached out to touch the cold metal surface. With a deep breath, he pushed it open, stealing himself for whatever horrors lay beyond. But to his surprise, the room was empty, the air heavy with the weight of silence. There was no sign of the ghostly woman, no trace of her presence save for the lingering chill that hung in the air like a shroud. And in that moment, the man realized that the true horror was not in the ghostly apparitions that haunted the hotel, but in the darkness that dwelled within the human heart. For it was the fear and the doubt, the uncertainty and the despair that truly consumed us, turning even the brightest light into shadow. With a sense of foreboding, the man pocketed the key and fled from the hotel, desperate to escape the horrors that lurked within its walls. But try as he might, he could never forget the chilling sight he had witnessed through that keyhole, a reminder that some mysteries are better left unsolved. With a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of his soul, the woman spoke, her words carrying a weight and a wisdom far beyond his comprehension. She spoke of love and loss, of fear and forgiveness, weaving a tale of tragedy and redemption that touched something deep within him. And as he listened, he felt a sense of peace settle over him, as if all the doubts and fears that had plagued him for so long had been washed away in the light of her presence. For in that moment, he realized that true horror lay not in the darkness that surrounded him, but in the depths of his own heart. With a newfound sense of purpose, the man stepped back from the spectral figure, his mind clear and his heart light as he turned to leave the room behind. And as he stepped back out into the world beyond, he knew that he would carry the memory of that encounter with him always. A reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope to be found in the light. As he left the room behind, the man felt a weight lift from his shoulders, as if the burdens of the past had been washed away by the encounter with the spectral figure. With each step he took, he felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination coursing through his veins driving him forward into the unknown with a newfound sense of courage. As he emerged from the hotel, the cool night air seemed to invigorate him, filling him with a sense of freedom and possibility. The streets stretched out before him, illuminated by the soft glow of streetlights, beckoning him to explore and discover the wonders that lay beyond. And as he walked into the night, he knew that he would never forget the lessons he had learned in that mysterious room. That true horror lay not in the darkness that surrounded him, but in the depths of his own heart, and that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope to be found in the darkest of times. There is always hope to be found in the light. With a sense of gratitude and humility, he embraced the journey that lay ahead, knowing that he carried within him wisdom and strength to face whatever challenges may come his way. And as he disappeared into the night, a smile played at the corners of his lips, for he knew that he was no longer alone, that the spirits of the past were guiding him on his path, leading him on his path, leading him ever onward towards a brighter future.